About a month ago, I did a poll on the community tab asking if people would like to see more scripting on the channel, and the response was kind of overwhelmingly yes, and that was really surprising because I'm very much a noob when it comes to scripting, so it's taken me about a month to decide that I'm actually going to dive into some more scripting videos, and I've decided to start off a little simple. So today I'm going to be creating a bash script that will delete your trash from your computer. Now, when I say trash, I mean things that were put in the trash folder, not necessarily other things, but this could be used for deleting the, your, your cache or whatever if you wanted to do that. Uh, it'd be fairly simple to, to adapt, uh, but we're going to focus on the trash folder today. Now, this script is actually very simple, so it, this shouldn't be a very long video. Before I jump in, I'd like to ask you to, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the, the like button and comment. All that kind of stuff really does help the channel out, so... Uh, thanks everybody who's already done that and if you haven't already done that make sure you do it so let's go ahead and jump in so the first thing we're going to do is locate the trash folder now on Linux if you're using Linux, I'm going to assume that you're using Linux uh, your trash folder is likely in dot local share trash and that is the case for me uh, it's possible that your trash folder is in your home directory in a hidden file called trash. I don't have a file like that, but you may have that file. Uh, it'll be in one of the two places, I believe. So once you've located the file, uh, you don't actually have to do anything. You just have to know that. You just have to know that path. So let's go ahead and create our script file. So what we're going to do is touch trasher.sh we're going to call this script trasher and then we're going to chmod trasher.sh plus x so we're going to make it executable and then we're going to vim into trasher.sh okay and all this is is a blank file now and then you need to go ahead and end in, in, in insert mode and we're going to put in a shebang so pound sign exclamation point slash bin slash bash and you can use slash sh if you wanted to I'm just going to use bash because that's the one that I'm most familiar with. Uh, technically, if you use slash sh, all you're doing is linking to the system's uh, default shell because that's just a, a symlink or something. Uh, so, and then we'll put in a couple comments here. So this is just, I'm just going to put script by Matt Weber and then version 1.0. Okay. And then I'll put a link to my GitHub. So HTTPS colon slash slash github dot com slash mtwb47 okay now once we've got that done uh, I'm going to show you two ways to do this and they're very simple we're going to do one way that is an if statement and one way that is kind of an if statement so the first way is going to be multiple lines long so what we're going to want to do is check to see if that folder that we just found the path of exists so we're going to do that with an if statement and basically what I want to do is create some uh, brackets here and then do minus D and then quotation marks and then the path of the folder that you, you want to see if it exists. So in this case, we want to do dollar sign home slash dot local slash share slash trash. Okay. And then you want to put a space at the end of this. Make sure there's a space between the brackets and that, that okay? Um, I'm not sure if it would work without this, the brackets, but I don't think it will. And then we need a semicolon and then then. Okay, so if... So basically what this is saying is if this file here exists, then we want to do whatever comes next. And in this case, we want to just remove the trash file. So we want to do remove dash rf and then dollar sign home slash dot local slash share slash trash okay and then else exit I guess is what we could do uh, technically uh, or you could we could do uh, echo. I actually would probably be doing print f. I think it's actually single quotes, um, but I'm not actually sure. 
Um, we'll, we'll have to test it. Uh, no trash folder found. Okay, and then end the statement, or end the if statement, we do fi. Okay, and basically, that's the entire script. Okay, and really, that's very simple. The problem is that this is like, what, four or five lines or whatever? You can actually do this in all in one line. So if we do it this way, so basically what we're doing is we're just be taking this. So do brackets to create a space, do minus D, dot, and then I don't even think you need the quotation marks, but we're just going to go ahead and do the... Actually, let me check and see, because I don't think... Uh, the, my research, I don't think you need the quotation marks. Uh, we're going to try it without the quotation marks, because I don't think you need them. Up here, I'm not sure if I needed them or not. Um, like I said, new bit scripting, but I think it'd go either way, actually. But we'll, we'll see. We'll try this without. So basically what you want to do is dollar sign home slash dot local share trash. Okay, and then again, make sure you're putting in the space. And then what you want to do is and and. So basically what this is, all this does is it checks if this file exists. It doesn't need an if statement at all. Okay, and then you want to do rm-rf. And then you want to do the file name again. So in this case, dollar sign home slash local share, and then trash, and then you want to, oh, I'm actually forgetting about something, you don't want to tr delete this whole file, I'm sorry, if, if you're following along, you want to actually do slash star, you want to do everything that's in the file, you don't want to delete the file itself, uh, I know I forgot something, same thing here, slash, uh, asterisk just means delete everything that's in the file. Okay, because you want to keep the file, otherwise things will break. Okay, and once that's done, and then do echo, you can do printf. I'm, I'm going to use echo here. Oh, printf, I think. And then do single quotes, trash, empty. Okay. And then we'll, do, we'll add that up here as well. And, and, uh, printf, trash, trash emptied. Okay. So that is the two ways of doing the scripts. Now I'm going to run this both ways and make sure it works because it's possible that I messed up printf because I've never actually used printf before. Uh, that was spur of the moment. And I've done no research on it. So we're going to comment this second part. Oops. We're going to comment the second part out, make sure we're actually at the beginning of the line. And then we're going to save this and quit. And we're going to do dot slash trasher dot sh. And if I hit enter, trash emptied. Okay. I don't know why there's a, a percentage sign at the end. Uh, we'll have to see what that is. So if we go now to, if we go, if we now, if we navigate to dot local share trash, and we do an ls, there's nothing in there. So that actually really worked, which is awesome, right? So let's see you back into the home directory here. And I'm going to go through and move something to the trash thing so there's something else in there. So let me go do that real quick. Okay, now if I do, if I actually cd back into there again and do an ls, uh, I now have stuff in there again. So let's clear that out. Now let's try the second way of doing it. So if we've been back into our trash or script and we comment out all this stuff, uh, once again, I'm not sure why there was a percentage sign after that trash emptied. Uh, that has something to do with some, um, printf and the way it works, I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and save this and make sure it works again. So save and quit. And then dot slash trash dot sh. Again, and then we'll cd into here and do an ls. And that actually didn't work. Now, that's, an inter that's interesting. <laughs> I'm wondering why it didn't work this time. So let's um 
Let me check my notes, because maybe I typed something wrong. It's entirely possible. So let's see you back here and vim into trash.sh and make sure we did everything right. So dollar sign home slash dot local slash share slash trash and and remove dot rf dollar sign home local share trash and and oh you did you did you spot what I did here I didn't put the period in here okay so whenever you're doing scripting make sure you proofread because <laughs> <laughs> it just messes things up. Okay, so we'll we'll now save this again, and now we'll do dots, and then we'll cd into here and do an ls. That worked. Okay, so that right there is two ways of doing the script. Which one is better in terms of you know bash scripting etiquette? I don't really have an opinion on that. I think some people will say, well, this is the proper way of doing it. Some people will say that this is the proper way of doing it. Personally, I think that they both work just fine. Uh, again, I'm not sure why that the the printf thing had a, a percentage sign at the end of it. That might be something to do with alacrity. I'm not actually sure. Um, but that is the entire script. That's all you have to do. Uh, and like I said, one line and you're done. And there's no extraneous, you know, like sub processes or, su or sub shells or whatever. So. Uh, I didn't go through and go crazy in terms of piping things into said this time. So it actually worked just the way I had hoped it would, you know, outside of, you know, not actually putting in the, the hidden file there. So so that is the script. Um, and I'm actually sh shocked that this video was this long. So uh, there'll probably be some of it that I'll cut out. But thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at the LinuxCast. And you can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast if you... Uh, would like to support the channel and you'd like early access to videos that is something that happens occasionally now i i only managed it one time this week which is disappointing i'm trying to, to, to do two or three times a week for early access for my patrons uh, but it's just been crazy real life lately so uh, that is definitely something that i'm going to be working better on uh patreon.com slash the next cast before i go i'd like to take a moment to thank our current patrons devon marcus meglin donnie sven merrick camp and mitchell i'd Pretty sure I did that without looking. Actually, Devon, Marcus, Maglin, Donnie, Sven, Merrick, Camp, Mitchell. Yep, I got that right. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.